Hello everyone. Welcome back to Cooking with Suzanne. So tonight I'm going to prepare a peckin duck breast and I just want to show you how to clean them and how to prep them before you sear them off and I'll show you how to cook a perfectly crispy duck breast. And so we're going to actually marinate them and let me show you all of the ingredients. You will need two bay leaves for two duck breasts, one bay leaf per duck breast, some fresh thyme, a fairly good quality uh, balsamic vinegar if you have one, uh, orange, we're going to zest it, kind of like the duck l'orange, and I'm sure you've all heard of that dish, a little bit of nutmeg, kosher salt, and freshly ground pepper. Okay, so here is our duck breast. And the first thing you need to do is clean it up. So we have a tiny bit of silver skin right here, which you do want to remove because that does not melt away. So just take a sharp knife and remove the silver skin. You want to remove any excess fat here. So here we go. All I'm going to do is just take my knife and just make sure we have any extra fat. I think this looks pretty good. So now you wanna turn it over. So the first thing you wanna do is a cross hatch onto the skin. And you want to cut into the skin, but not all the way to the flesh but you do need to make sure it's deep enough so that when you start to sear this, all that fat is going to render. Let me just show you right here. You see how it's all the way through, but it's not through to the flesh, which is really important, okay? And you just wanna keep going like so. Okay, so this looks pretty good. Now you want to turn it this way and go in the other direction. And you have your nice cross hatch. Okay, so you can see the cross hatch. You see how nice that looks? All right, now what you want to do is season it. So I have two of them here ready to go. First thing you want to do we're actually going to marinate these. You can marinate them anywhere from an hour up to 12. You do, I would suggest at least four to six hours if you have the time. So you wanna season, I'm seasoning high. This is kosher salt I have here. You wanna season high and lightly. And then a little bit of black pepper. And a little fresh nutmeg. These are very inexpensive nutmeg graters and you're just going to grate a little bit of nutmeg and now a little bit of orange zest. Here is our orange right here and a zester. So I've already washed the orange and I'm ready to just zest it right over the top of the meat. Okay, I think we have enough. You want to put some fresh I love thyme. We're going to put some fresh thyme right directly on the breast meat. And we will put this in the refrigerator and let this marinate for about at least for me, I tend to go at least six hours, four to six hours. This is a fairly good quality balsamic vinegar. We're gonna put a few drops of vinegar on the top. Okay. Oops. So just one. And now you can put your bay leaf and your bay leaf. And if you can get fresh bay leaves, that's even better. And then I have a sheet pan here that's lined with parchment paper, and I'm going to put the entire breast upside down. So it's all sitting on the parchment paper. This is going upside down. Also, at this point, we can even season the top 
of the fat here, which is delicious and going to be delicious with a little bit of kosher salt. So I'm just going to shower it with a little bit of kosher salt very lightly on the top. And you can even put a little bit of nutmeg here. We're getting ready to sear our duck and I have my pan on medium low. You wanna make sure that the skin has no moisture. There's a tiny bit. So I'm just going to take a paper towel and just blot it a little bit just to make sure that there's absolutely no moisture on the skin. And you wanna take, even though the fat is going to start to melt right away, let's just put a tiny bit of canola oil just so that the skin doesn't stick. This is a cast iron frying pan that I have here. So we wanna just get a tiny bit of oil in the pan just so that the skin doesn't stick. And I have it on medium low. So it goes skin side down into your frying pan. Okay, skin side down, put it this way. This should take about 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes. And you want your flame to be fairly low because you want to really take your time with this. I'll show you that you want to keep removing the fat as it starts to render. Keeping your pan fairly dry. And that's all I'm going to do for the next 15 to 20 minutes. Every few minutes or so, I'll go in and remove the fat. We dried the skin nicely in the refrigerator. It was in the fridge for about six hours uncovered, which is what you want. And once again, I can go in and remove more of the fat. There we go. I just want to show you how much fat has been rendered out of just two duck breasts. Uh, and that's really what you're looking for in order to get a wonderful crispy skin, which makes the duck breast so delicious. So I think it's probably time here you can see, there you can see our, our duck there. Now you get a good look at what the skin looks like. It's really in great shape. So let's turn it over, let it go for 30 seconds. And then I'm going to turn it back over and put it in my 400 degree oven for two minutes. Then I will take them out. I will still put it skin side down on a, just a small pan with a wrap. And you just put your breasts on there, skin side down for about 10 minutes, just to let the meat settle before you go ahead and slice it. All you're looking is just to kind of kiss the meat a little bit, which you can see right there. And now it's going into our 400 degree oven. Okay, that's two minutes. I'll shut that off. Take the temp on the meat. It's reading 126. 125 is medium rare, so it should be perfect for us. There you go. Just put it over here. Okay, so all that is left is just to slice our meat. And I do have a little bit of duck sauce, so we can put a little bit on the plate as well. So let's take our duck breast, which looks wonderful. Always put it inside up. There we 
볼게요. can sprinkle a little bit of fleur de sel or if you have a nice smoky sea salt or a gray sea salt would be very nice on the duck so let's just start it right here we just put a little bit on our plate right here Okay, there you have your beautiful duck cooked perfectly medium rare. It looks gorgeous. And that's all there is to preparing a beautiful duck breast. So thanks very much and bon appetit everyone.